Hello and welcome. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland. Today we're going to continue our ongoing series uh, reviewing the Drobo family of products. Uh, today we're going to focus in on the new interface uh, that came, with, uh, came out uh, earlier. Uh, and as we showed in our migration video, there's some uh, new capabilities in this uh, product and just, uh, just a cleaner interface overall. So let's take a look at that and uh, see what we have. You could first thing you'll immediately notice is that you can see both uh, or multiple products from a single uh, view. Now uh, we have the um, Drobo Elite hooked up uh, and the Drobo Pro FS or the B800 uh, FS uh, connected. Uh, both are uh, online. You can tell this one right here by this indicator means it uh, requires a log login. This one I've uh, already logged into. Uh, we can sort those by health. You can see that both are in great shape right now. Uh, we can uh, sort those uh, by name or by product. Uh, there's the icon view like this right here, or you can look at it uh, via a list. The list gives you a little bit more detail, uh, what the capacity is, uh, how much of it's been used, uh, what free space we have, things like that. You can see actually we're getting close uh, to uh, being ready to put some more capacity in our Drobo Pro FS and uh, that'll be the next in this series probably. Um, so anyway, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and uh, log into our uh, our Drobo Pro. So we will do that by double clicking on it. I'm sorry, Drobo Elite. We'll do that by double clicking on it. You can see there you get a more detailed view of the capacity, what our free space is looking like. Um, things like that. So that logs us in. Now we have uh, all of our uh, information available to us. You can see now the tools menu is active, things like that. From here, we'll take a quick tour of each one. Um, we've done uh, quite extensive stuff on the Drobo Elite. Just want to show you how it's changed. Uh, between uh, interfaces. So this is our overview screen, shows us uh, how much we have in use space, how much we have uh, available. Uh, the green means everything's working great, uh, we don't have any issues. Um, this shows us all our different volumes. You can see I have a, uh, a Drobo Pro, uh, I'm sorry, a Drobo Elite volume uh, attached uh, right now. This is via one gig iSCSI connection, so you can see that it uh, looks and acts just like a drive if we wanted to. We could format it and all that kind of good stuff. So good stuff there. Uh, and then the other two that we'll get to in a second are the um, volumes off of the uh, B800. So anyways, you can see here we can come in and mount volumes if we wanted to. Uh, so if we wanted to mount um, uh, a backup uh, volume that we did uh, earlier, or well, let's say I wanted to get to a copy of a full backup that we did. We could mount that. Uh, it would show up. Put that on our main screen here. And there it is. And that's a, a backup that I did uh, quite a while ago. But uh, it shows you that we can get to data and all that kind of good stuff. When we're done with the volume, uh, we can eject it. You can see it goes away. And then we can unmount it. So pretty straightforward. You can see that's back now. So we could mount it on another system if we wanted to or whatever we needed to do. So very, very um, uh, easy to, to manage and see the different uh, uh, volumes and things like that. The, um, the other thing is that we can come into here to create a new volume. We can uh, delete a volume. Um, a lot of different uh, characteristics there. So what we'll do actually is we'll delete this volume. I don't need that backup anymore. So go in here and hit minus. Are you sure you want to delete it? And that once we commit it, that'll free up uh, probably about 26 gigs worth of space. Um, so we're good with that. We'll hit apply. And this is new. The line through it, uh, just a little cleaner, makes it more clear what you're doing. and then it'll go ahead and uh, delete the volume for us. So that was uh, uh, pretty simple to do and everything's working good. You can see the volume now disappears. And then finally from a usage perspective we could see uh, how much is available for data and how much is used for protection, uh, what our overhead area is. It just kind of gives you a way to see how the, the volume is divided up. 
and then in the tools menu we can see if we want to blink lights on it uh, we can rename the device we can uh, check uh, for updates to the software and the hardware uh, register the product uh, do different diagnostics uh, restart it uh, shut it down uh, or do a, a, a total reset so all the uh, standard utilities uh, that we would expect to have um, in the settings area this is the one of the more common views you can see that we still have this empty spot here that's where we took a drive out to uh, show our migration in the last video and then in the settings area uh, we, this is where we can go in and set uh, different settings for the uh, device. You can see that we have it set up for dual drive redundancy, so we can support two uh, simultaneous uh, drive failures. Again, I always recommend this. It's uh, cheap insurance, really good idea. Then also our network settings are here now. Uh, so similar to as far as data to the last one, just in a, a cleaner interface. And then our admin functions where we set the password and, and that sort of thing. So very straightforward, easy to do. Uh, when we want to, if we're looking at one device and we want to look at some information on another device, so we're kind of back to our main screen here, I can just click on next device and um, we're uh, good to go. The, um, and so here's the, uh, we named it Drobo Pro FS because we were using it as, already as mounts, so that's the older version of the product, but we did that so that we could, we'd have to re-map uh, all of our different uh, settings that we had set up. So you can see that this is the B800 FS and it's uh, working great. Again, we've got about 1.7 terabytes worth of view space here, about 900 gigs free. Difference in the uh, Drobo Pro or the B800 FS is that you set up volumes or shares instead of volumes, so we can create different volumes for different things. Uh, if I wanted to, uh, let's we'll go ahead and create a volume uh, here in a little bit, and then uh, usage again very similar uh, to the other. Uh, thing and then as far as tools these are again basically tools for the hardware itself from a settings area the the one addition you can see that these are generally the same spin down and uh, dual redundancy uh, network settings the administrator and so the only difference here is shares are set up uh, right here and so we can set it up uh, to different users and things like that we'll just quickly set up a public volume just so we can see how that works I can enable time machine support on this share uh, so if for Mac users like myself I can use this as a time machine backup area uh, works really really well uh, I'll show you that working here in a second um, and the uh, so everything else is going uh, it goes according to plan so we'll leave that uncheck for now and we'll hit OK oops there we go so we'll go ahead and create that test volume and uh, hit save and there we go now we should be able to go to finder look at Drobo Pro FS again it's really the B800 we just used the old name and you can see there is test one volume and of course it'll be empty um, we'll copy some data uh, locally from it to it I mean See, pretty straightforward so works really really great uh, very simple to use the interface is, is uh, seamless uh, it's really good especially if you have multiple devices which I think is going to be a growing uh, need either multiple Drobo Pros uh, or also a mix like we have a Drobo Elite and Drobo Pro FS because there's times where you want block volumes and there's times where you want kind of shared access so uh, 
Again, this is George Crump. Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, hope you enjoy the tour of the new Drobo dashboard.